Hello, this is Dr. Anish Desai. I am the medical lead for UNS. I am also a clinical pharmacologist and a nutraceutical physician. 25th July is celebrated as the World IVF Day. In fact, in 1978, the first test tube baby was born. So UNS has taken the special initiative to celebrate the World IVF Day. And this entire week, beginning from 25th of July, we would be celebrating this. And every day you would be hearing from our experts who have been working tirelessly to make this whole journey of parenthood possible for the couples. And they would be expressing their views and sharing their experiences and the latest technologies with you. Thank you. Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. P. M. Gopina, Director and Senior Consultant in the Institute of Obstetrics and Gynecology and IVF, SRM Institute for Medical Sciences, Vatapalini. World IVF Day is being celebrated on 25th July every year. This is in commemoration of the birth of the World IVF Babies scientist Robert Edwards. So for his pioneering work which has led to the birth of the first IVF baby along with Dr. Patrick Steptoe, the Louis Brown, the first test tube baby, this is being celebrated all over the world. It is a joyous moment for everybody, especially for an IVF clinician, an IVF patients, an IVF babies. It is a memorable day. On this day, we try to recall the hard work done by Patrick Steptoe and Robert Edwards in producing the first test tube baby in the world. So from then on, so many changes have taken place, so many advances have taken place. Today, IVF has become a common name in a gynec and infertility clinic and almost there are about plenty of IVF centers all around doing a wonderful work. So what is IVF? IVF is when a man and woman try to conceive they take about 5.1 months to conceive. Approximately in a cycle, the conception rate is about 20%. So when they fail to conceive in one year, then they call it as a subfertility. There are various reasons for subfertility. It could be a male responsible for in about one third, female responsible in another one third, and both male and female put together responsible in another one third. So if you have a tubal problem, previously we used to do tubal surgery and try to restore the normal anatomy, which was very difficult, cumbersome, and results were not rewarding. We are just going straight away to that IVF, which yields much better results today. The male factor, when the count is very poor, we used to resort to donor insemination before the IVF. Today, the man has got the joy of producing his own baby with the technology of IVF. So like that, there are so many indications where the IVF has produced excellent uh, results, the mental satisfaction, the emotional satisfaction for the couple, and also for the treating physician. So IVF is probably one of the earliest spearheading research and the result oriented program, which is going miles beyond today. I wish all the AIT clinicians and doctors a happy uh, day. Thank you.